Hello there Potter friends and welcome back to the channel. I'm brand new Simply Potter and today I have with me the Wizarding Trunks newest installment to unbox with you all. Now as you can see the box has a little bit of a different look and that is because we are starting a new series in the Wizarding Trunk. This is the Magical Lesson series. I'm super excited to dive into this box with you but first if you're new to the channel hello and welcome. Be sure to click the subscribe button and notification bell below to join me for future Harry Potter goodness. Now, let's dive into the first lessons box from the Wizarding Chunk. So before we dive into this Wizarding Chunk, let's just take a moment to appreciate the new box. So here, this is the Wizarding Chunk Presents the Owlery. So for the Magic Lesson series, we're going to be taking a journey through the Owlery boxes. And we have this tower here with all of the owls flying out. I think it's a really cute box. I really like the new look for this new Magical Lesson series. So the lessons represented in this box are Herbology and Ancient Runes. I'm really excited for this. Oh, so for the cheat sheet, we have a rune stone translation information sheet. That's really neat. I'll take a look at the back because that tells us what's in the box and we're gonna find that out for ourselves. So, ooh, what is this? I, oh, <laughs> this is so creative. So these are the earmuffs that the students wear in order to not hear mandrakes and pass out. Oh my gosh, I love the color of these. At first I thought they might have been like a pygmy puff because it reminds me of the color of pygmy puffs. Alright, gotta try them on. <sighs> we'll see if they spit my big head. <laughs> ah, that's so cute. And they fold up so nicely. Like, you just... That is a creative start to the box, and those would actually be nice to wear out in the winter. Like, I love things that you get in these boxes that are also functional in real life, so that's a great start. Let's see what else we got here. See something peeking out of the bottom? Got a little tin, some stuff inside. What is this? Oh, venomous tentaculous seedlings. The caffeinated wizard company, so this must be some tea leaves caution bite venomous all right let's see what we got going on in the inside Ooh, actually is this coffee i don't know i'm not a, i can't drink coffee so it has a very strong coffee flavor but we also got leaves on the inside we'll have to take a look at the cheat sheet get more info on this because i can't have these things but definitely a coffee smell. I know that smell, <laughs> even though I can't have it. That's a strong scent. All right, what do we got up here? Ooh, I'll pull that, that one out later because there's something on top here first. Get rid of all these squigglies. Oh, ew. you remember how I just talked about functionality with items in a box in the real world? This is so creative. So everyone knows we're going through the lovely COVID pandemic and the wizarding trunk gave us a mask <laughs> oh my gosh look at it it's a little herbology mask <laughs> oh look oh my goodness it's a nebulous nimbletonia i have one of these sitting right up here oh my gosh that's so cute i love this during this time, you can never have too many masks. I love that. And this is like a subtle Potter. Like, Potter fans will see things from Harry Potter here. But you could just wear it out. Oh, that's so, that's so neat. Great job. This box is awesome. And we're just getting started. Ooh, what's in this? I think we might have some artwork. So let me open this. Alright, what do we got here? Oh yes, yeah, so the Wizarding Trunk teamed up with Danny from the Wizardry Workshop, formerly known as Mogul Magic, to make textbook covers. So here we have 
the ancient runes. Oh, I love the gold foiling on this. This is pretty. This is such a pretty purple color. Oh, the detailing on this is beautiful. Look at that. That is such. Oh, I love this like kind of marbled look on the edge. This is pretty. My Ravenclaw heart swooning, swooning. I think these are made to fit the books. So definitely be making a shelf full of these. That that's beautiful. Wow. All right. What do we have next? I see a vial here. So let's take this out and get a look. Ooh, I like this color. The striking green. I feel like we might have had one that was a similar color. It's such a pretty color. So what do we have here? <laughs> Stinks up. This is what the Mimulus Mimultonia throws out. So we have stink sap, a magical liquid found inside some plants or trees. Stink sap can be used to nurse ill creatures. <laughs> Caution, very foul odor. <laughs> That's so creative. I'm going to set that right next to my Mimulus Mimultonia. Oh, we got a very flowy liquid in this one. Ah. Great addition to our little collection of vials for the wizarding chunk. X item. Ah, another nice thing to have during this pandemic that we're all going through. So this is, I don't even know how to say this word and I'm not gonna try because I'm gonna butcher it. This word right here, I'll try it. I, Ewas? I'm gonna look this up because now I'm really curious how to say this. All right, let's see, I found a YouTube video. This is really intense. I was. <laughs> okay, so I was. We have I was defensive spray hand sanitizer, which is so nice because hand sanitizer has kind of been a hard thing to find recently. So this is nice. So this says, the rune Iwaz represents strength, reliability, dependability, trustworthiness, enlightenment, endurance, defense, and protection. That's neat. And then you can see around the edge here, it is lined with a bunch of runes. And it's neat that they were able to take this bit of runes. Because when I look this up on YouTube, there's like a lot of information about this rune. So this is like legit, like it exists. And they were able to turn it into something that's useful for us all that we can use. It's kind of a nice smell to it too. Let's try it. Ooh, I like this. It doesn't have like the really, really alcoholic smell like a lot of hand sanitizers does. Oh, that's so nice. What's in this? Yep. Essential oils of lavender and sage. I dig this so hard. All right, next item. We have the pin for this box. And what is this? Oh, this is a herbology classroom. So we have it like this and it flips open. And look at the detailing on this. We have all of the plants that oh, we see. Oh, I see a little mandrake. And then the card backing design here are the same little things that we see on the mask. Uh, this is neat. I love how this opens and closes. Great box. Great box. All right. Oh, we have another bit of artwork here. Look at this chonky little mandrake. <laughs> ever thought that a little yeah, Drake would be so cute. He looks like a little chonky potato taking a little snooze. Oh, and then we have the Mimulus outlining the corner here. Some other plants. What a cutie. <laughs> okay, let's see what else we have. Oh, here's something rolling around. What? Oh, yes. A bag inside a bag. Now this one is probably, okay, what do we have? Oh, is this, okay. I think we have a bag of 
little rune stones. Uh, so we have little runes here on the stones. I don't know what they mean. I know nothing about runes, unfortunately. Be something cool to learn. I don't see a symbol on this one here, which is probably intentional. And we have one here. So we'll have to find out if these have some kind of meaning behind the symbols on the stones. We'll see on the cheat sheet. If not, I'm going to learn because my Ravenclaw brain is very curious. Alright, what else do we have here? We have the shirt. Let's take off all the squigglies. Oh, this is neat. Everything in this box like goes together so nicely. So here is the shirt for this box and it says Herbology on it and we see the same little plants that we have seen. I'm pretty sure it's the same ones from the mask. Maybe they're a little different. They might be a little different. I think they are. But everything just looks so cohesive and nice. Well, for all the plant lovers out there, I just started my own garden. So, I feel super jazzy now with the Herbology shirt. Alright, I see a couple more items here in the bottom. We have another little glass jar here. This one has shriveled fig. The leaves of this plant have medicinal properties and are very useful in potion making. I think these might be actual shriveled figs inside of here. Let's see if you can get a close look at the inside. It's kind of hard to see. Let's see if I can pop one out. Oh yeah. Look at this. I don't know. Now that is tea jazzy. So we have another nice addition to the old shelves. Next we have, ooh, this looks like some jewelry. This looks like a necklace. Pop it out, take a closer look here. So we do have a necklace. And on the necklace we have a little charm here that has an upwards arrow. And this Definitely means something in runes, and we're going to find out. The girl kind of reminds me of Aang, if anybody's in the Avatar, another fandom, but, but hey. I think that might have been the last item in this box. Oh yeah, it just dawned on me that <laughs> there's another way this box goes together so well. So, we have the rune stones, and we have the rune on the necklace, and we have the translation sheet. As the cheat sheet so we can just take a look at what these runes mean okay so it might take a while to look up each one of these stones but we can look up the necklace real quick because it's definitely not for hair bending this means it's Tai Wa that is justice leadership and authority that's, that's neat so in the Herbology and Ancient Runes box. So we've had the Runes of the Ancient World book cover, a, an exclusive for this box. This book cover was created for us by Danny at Wizardry Workshop. There will be an exclusive lesson themed textbook cover in each of the lesson boxes that will cover the first edition American hardback books. Be sure to subscribe to collect the entire set. And with that, I do want to mention that if you love these boxes and you want to subscribe, I do have a code that can save you some galleons, and that is Simply Potter 10, and the link to order is in the description below. So we also have Venomous Tentaculous Seedlings. This coffee and tea blend includes black tea, whole coffee, chicory, and milk chocolate chips. Not a fan of tea or coffee? Display these seedlings on your herbology shelf. Fuzzy Pink Earmuffs. Don't forget to mind your earmuffs, students. Greenhouse 3 pin, an exclusive for the box. This see-through hinged greenhouse pin gives you a peek inside Greenhouse 3. Inside the greenhouse, this watercolor print was created by J.P. Mistlecrow, and that's an exclusive. The bag of runestones, use the spoiler sheet to decipher what lies in your future. There we go. The Taiwaz rune necklace, an exclusive. This charm represents justice, leadership, and authority. Shriveled fig ingredient. This magical plant has powerful properties in potion making, bottled by a pure blood apothecary. 
the Herbology shirt, which is an exclusive, the cloth face mask, which is also an exclusive. This cloth face mask will be great to wear while working in the garden or these days while taking a quick trip out of the house. The Iwas hand sanitizer. Iwas represents strength, defense, and protection. At the at this time, we thought that a hand sanitizer with these properties was something everyone around the world would benefit from. Made for us by Alchemy for the Skin. A vial of stink sap. This recently procured vial of stink sap has many magical uses, such as aiding and nursing ill creatures back to health. This vial was bottled by Pure Blood Apothecary. All right, so I'm gonna pick a favorite item from this box, which is hard because I think my favorite is two. That is the cloth face mask because I love the design on this. I think it's really cute and subtle potter and functional right now, which is amazing. And the hand sanitizer, which funnily enough is functional for this time. And I love the smell of this and I love the spray of sanitizer bit. I can go into my hiking bag and go out with me. I really, I really dig these two items. What was your favorite item? Let me know in the comment section below. And while you're down there, be sure to give this video a big ol' thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more Harry Pottery goodness. And until next time, stay magical, my friends.